Good morning and what's up YouTube, Alien is in. I want to thank everybody for rocking with me. Please throw comments and subscribe since this is my first vlog. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna use this clip first or the clip before that. I ask that you um you know please comment and hit the like button. I know you guys know that helps with the algorithm. Uh this is my first vlog. I've been asked for this, to do this for a while, but uh, I'm jumping into it now. I literally just woke up, I was back there, I sleep halfway in my trunk and halfway uh, out. I um I have these things over my windows. Okay, this is the front window, so of course it's got a little little slab right here. This is the back one. I have black on the outside. Uh, a little bit on the stealthier side. That's the first time you're watching my, uh, one of my videos. I am homeless. I do live in my car. If you want the full story, I have that video. I have a lot of videos to explain other stuff. However, this is my first vlog. Um, so, like I said, I wasn't sure if I was going to do the one in the back. I, this light was pretty dark. I took these things off of, uh, off of the windows, and yet it still wasn't... Uh, it wasn't still enough. That guy's, that guy's car might not even start. <laughs> I hope you guys heard that. Uh, I normally start off my day with um, taking my blood pressure pills. I'm going to do that right now. Hey guys. <sighs> even though my blood pressure pill is very, very small, I have a, like a mental thing about, um, I'm not able to swallow pills whole. I have to chew it up, even if it's extra straight Tylenol or anything like that. And my blood pressure pill is very, very small. It's like something inside my head. I can't, uh, I can't swallow pills no matter what. You know, even though I know that they're, you know, they're healthy for me and they're good for me, and I'm supposed to be taking them. I just uh, like a mental thing, man. You know, um, I'm starting off my day. I'm gonna take you along with me. I'm not gonna tell you everything I'm, I'm doing. I want you to watch the video and see. But uh, the first thing. I got my clock going on. Put that off. Yep, I have a clock just in case. I'm gonna not clock an alarm that goes off at um, you know, goes off at a certain time. Uh, you know, you know. So I'm gonna be telling you everything I'm gonna be doing today. I want you to ride along and uh, and uh, and stay with me. Uh, I do want to let you know that uh, it's probably too dark right now for me to to video me driving. I, I was uh. I was asked by one of my friends uh, last night, um, you know, hey, if you want to stop by here in the morning to take a shower, <clears throat> and then uh, they normally cook me breakfast and actually uh, pack me a lunch. <laughs> Believe it or not, sometimes they do that. They have leftover food that they don't want. However, um, I normally shower at um, uh, Planet Fitness. However, if I, uh, you know, as long as I don't think I'm annoying what like like my friends, uh, I don't mind. I don't mind showering there. In fact, I like it. It feels more private. Um, I have. You know, I can shave my head while I'm in there and stuff like that. But let's uh, let's hop to. What's up, YouTube? I look a little bit funny with my hat backwards. Let's go like this. This is like so serious when I have my hat forward, huh? I mean, like this. Is the hat forward? That's not you, but that's it's not me. No. I, you know, I do that to protect my eyes and I when I drive. I is it like this? This this is more like me. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like uh, I feel like Fred Durst. You know what I mean? I just watched a freaking video of Fred Durst, biggest mosh pit ever at uh, Woodstock. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that video came on. I, I, I don't know. But what's up, YouTube? Over at my friend's house, one of my dearest friends, closest friends, even used to work with her. Remember that when, I, when we worked at that one company? Yeah. Yeah. I talked about that on my YouTube before where... Uh, it was full-time work, but I got part-time money for it. Yep. Would you say that was a, an accurate description? It was like $300 a week. Yeah, yeah, 300 a week. But how many hours a week did I, was I working? Over 40, right? It was about 60 hours, yeah. Yeah, and then I had that other job uh, that I had been you know, doing for 12 years. Yep. I mean, Medical field one. At least you got paid a week. I got paid one week when things closed. Yeah, and I got Violet. Violet over here driving me crazy. She's biting her tail and yeah, my friends got very one of my dearest friends, really close to her and her husband and her two daughters. You still work with her, and I'm very close to her dogs. And she's got a pit bull and uh, what is Camille? Jack Russell Terrier. Jack Russell Terrier. Hey, the pit bull just can't get enough of me, and she likes to like be petted, and then she gets in like a guard position where she puts like her butt on my knee or in between like. In between me and stays in guard position, does not like when in, anybody else come near me. She's very protective like that. I'd call Camille, but they're gonna start growling at each other because she's getting close to me. 
But Camille, Camille Camille's a the, jealous lady. Yeah, yeah, Camille's a very jealous dog, but one of the first things I said, and I still remember it, when uh, I was holding uh, Camille, uh, I, I remember you started laughing. I said, she's so ugly, she's cute. Yeah, <laughs> remember that? <laughs> Yeah, when you first got it, she's so ugly, she's cute. She's a little alien baby. All right, so what's on the what's on the breakfast menu? Um, well, I'm making some scrambled eggs with uh, uh scrambled cheesy eggs. Okay. Yeah. Then, Violet, stop, please. Do your science project thing. My right science now. project. I gotta warm it up with potato soup for you too. Uh, are you hungry? Are you gonna be eating? Or oh, yeah, I think you got work in a couple minutes. Okay. A few minutes, but no, not today. Yeah. Yeah. Where's uh, where's Camilla? At? I can't see her. She's right over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, friend works at home. Unfortunately. Since, yeah, since twenty, since twenty twenty, basically. And I gotta watch what I say about that because you know, YouTube parameters. Yeah. You know. As far as like fame. Yeah, you can't you can't say the what the pandemic was about and stuff like that from Really? Where, yeah. So why? I, I don't even like saying the the pandemic word. <laughs> I never like really why? Wasn't they there? restrict the stuff from my understanding. Oh. You know, mm-hmm. everybody everybody is very careful uh, about what they say. Get a little bit closer. Well, well I feel like I'm in an open was like a conspiracy. That's true. Yeah. Hey, uh, I had a freaking crazy dream last night. I had, um, well, I'm sleeping in the back of my car. Cold, why it's raining in the Midwest. Let's talk about it. But I, I had a dream that I came up on a dumpster. I was doing some dumpster diving. And I don't know the show very well, but it's, um, it was Inuasha. It was anime. Inuasha, yeah. Yeah, was, yeah that, it, so I came across a dumpster that had, like, a bunch of the, the toys for Inuasha. Mm-hmm. And some of them were real big. And then uh, uh, two people showed up, and it was them who put it, and was, this dumpster is filled with it, right? And these two people show up, and they're like, you know, now that's our stuff. We threw it away. We don't want you to touch it. And, you know, where I come from, you put something in that trash, I, and I want it. I'm going to grab it. Yeah. Uh, I, um, in my dream, uh, basically had to, to, quote, unquote, defend myself against those two. And then they came back. They came back with a third person. The third person had, a, had something uh, that they tried to use on me. So I had a very weird dream last night. I woke that's up. Weird. Yeah. Hey, did I tell you what happened the, the day before that? Uh, it's uh, I guess it technically was yesterday, uh, five o'clock in the morning. Uh, a car pulls next to me. I'm uh, sleeping at the truck stop, and uh, uh, she honks her horn twice. And I know it's a girl because uh, after the fact, she she honks her uh, honks her horn twice, pulls right next to my car, and everybody around there knows not to come near me or my car, especially when it's late at night. Like I don't, you know, I don't play that, right? So she shows up and she does that, and then I hear she sounds like Smeagol going. Hey, and that's how like real hoarse, like a woman's voice, really hoarse going, Hey, oh, <laughs> hey, like, yeah. she calls out three times like that. And I, um, I take, uh, I take my window cover off. That's what I call it, my blinders or whatever, you know, my privacy curtains, as you, you know, uh-huh. as you may. I pulled that off and I screamed, What at the top of my lungs? And it, uh, it scared her. And she just put her, put her gold van in reverse and reversed out of there. But, that's literally the third time I've had issues with somebody uh, with a gold colored car, and I'm starting to catch on to some like kind of like drift, you know, like like you know, it's not a coincidence anymore. I'm actually going to Google what does it mean uh, psychology wise about who pick, yeah, because that's the third that's the third time I've had it. And this one was a van. I had uh, issues with two other um, gold cars. One was a real real beater. What you get, girl? What are you chewing on, Violet? I mean, she oh, so I asked, <clears throat> I, uh, you know, so that's at five in the morning. I go ahead and actually wake all the way up at till, uh, like six, six thirty. I go, um, throw some trash away and I talk to my buddy rough in it, which I, I know that I talked to you about it, uh, that guy. I talked to him and he says, uh, that she, she asked him about a cash app and that, uh, she was looking for, uh, what's that, uh Alexa. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Go uh, that, um. Alexa, I'm not, excuse me, not Alexa, that girl went ahead and was trying to find somebody with a cash app and some kind of scam or hustle about if you have a cash app, somebody was supposed to send her money. Uh-huh. That's what he told me. And I, and I, and I said, I'm going to work. <clears throat> and I Wait, said, uh, hold up. How did, how, what? Oh, man. Okay. Nice. Okay. So basically, that girl does that, right? Uh-huh. 
when I see my friend roughing it, I, uh, I asked him, because he, does, he doesn't sleep at night, right? He sleeps during the day, and uh, he watches out uh, uh, at night a little bit, especially with me, right? Uh, uh, I got a camera on, so. That's what I'm saying. Okay, thank you. Um, <clears throat> he um, he said that he saw her pull up. He saw her honk twice, and um, uh, I asked, did he know what she wanted, and that he, and, you know, did he know uh, who she was? <clears throat> he said, yeah, I know who she is. She's a lot lizard um, addict, like, and he said that she was a uh, really far gone addict, and uh, she's a lot lizard, and, okay. and that um. And I said, okay, why the hell is she coming towards my vehicle then? And uh, trying to wake, you know, wake me up. Like, Apparently, she's a lot of those hilarious, but... Uh, well, I don't know what else to say, and I have to watch I mean, that's, to I'm YouTube. Just, I mean, that's, yeah, I'm just saying it's just funny that the term is still used. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> and it's at a truck stop, so it's only fitting. <clears throat> so, anyways, that, um... Uh, he said that she parked next to him and asked him if, uh, if he had a cash app. And he doesn't even have a cell phone. His cell phone got stolen... I told you about that, right? Uh, what's that? Pineapple. Oh, yeah. That sounds nice. Um, but uh, asking uh, about a cash app and that somebody was going to send her some money, but she doesn't have a cash app, so she was looking for somebody who did have a cash app. Oh. And there's a lot of ways that somebody could hustle you. Like, let's say, for example, I got a cash app for 20 bucks, right? If, and um, I went ahead and give the, give the, the woman um, $20. Mm-hmm. Well, that person could go, most likely, I, I think this is the hustle, reverse charge that, and now I'm out of $20. Oh, uh, yeah, yes. maybe, sort of. So you... And I don't know, I don't know if you could do reverse charges on Cash App. I know you could do my other cards, but nonetheless. That's someone we can ask that works at Cash App that we know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We do know someone that works there. <laughs> but uh, I'm thinking that was her hustle or her scam. But even even on top of that, um, you know, you don't know me. You never talked to me before. You think it's uh, a good idea to wake me up at five in the morning to ask me to have a cash app? Like, what? What are you gonna offer? Like, offer me to do it? Like, you know? Yeah. Yeah, could have. Definitely could have. I have to go downstairs to the meeting. Okay, I'm gonna eat my food and talk to YouTube a little bit, and then uh, uh, it's okay if I take a shower here too. Yeah. Okay. Just do you have any clothes? Yeah, I'll get the clothes um, when I get ready for the shower. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're this looks great. Uh, and we're, we're, I always ask you. I oh, can't remember the drink. cups. Yeah, just where your cups were. I got it. Uh, I got it. Okay. What do you want to drink? Do you have milk? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this. Uh, when did you make, you made the potato soup two or three days ago? I'm sorry, what? You made the potato soup two or three days ago, this? Oh, yeah. Okay, it looks great. Don't worry, YouTube, I'm you not going to... You want more if you need to. I, just, I don't like to make it too piping hot because that bowl gets really, really hot. Yeah, really. yeah, the, <laughs> the ceramic bowls are known for that. And don't worry, YouTube, I'm not going to eat all this food in front of you and, like, yeah. uh, you know, not talk. I, I'll take a couple bites and let you know what I think, and then I'll, I'm, you know, this is, a, this is my vlog style. The vlog style, huh? Uh, Are you telling right. me you're trying to give me a broken cup? No, it's not broken. It's, it's, yeah, no, it's not broken. I'm trying to cheat the system. You're going to cheat the system? Oh, okay. Right. I'm drinking out of a red solo cup this morning. Oh, that's yeah. fine. You know, where I, come, where I come from, I'm used to drinking, like, in my hands over a sink. <laughs> Just, can you double check the, the date on the milk, please? You too. Uh, okay, yeah, so it's February 2nd. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you even got a reserve one, huh? Yeah, we always have to... You make, come on, man. Yeah. The little one, she drinks me like she's drinking it like it's one out, so... Yeah. That's so why she's always growing. Why is this so empty? I don't know. It's empty. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay, thank you so much. When you get that meeting, I'll be quiet. I'll just finish yeah, eating this. You got that here. Do you have to do? Uh, are you doing talking? Or you got to listen to the meeting. I got to listen. Okay. Well, they can't hear you. So okay. All right. Thank you. Oh. All right. You too. This right here is a meal fit for a king. Let's try to show you. This is the potato soup. I know that it's cutting my head off a little bit. Bear with me here. And then uh, I got uh, some cheesy scrambled eggs. That doesn't look very good, like on camera. Then I uh, she put some pineapples here. 
And this is one of my dearest friends I've known for a very long time ago. I really hope that uh, her voice, you guys were able to pick up, pick it up. I think so, because my camera seems to, to be okay like that. You know, I guess my recording device. <clears throat> we used to work, uh, work together at the same company. I'm uh, good friends with her and uh, her husband. Uh, I should have asked. I always forget. Uh, both of them were military. She was um, uh, Air Force. And her husband uh, was uh, Navy. I, I'm pretty sure he's a Navy SEAL. I always forget those little things. You know, you know, it's not like something I always talk about. But uh, uh, real, real close uh, with the daughters as well. Her daughters uh, call me uncle. Um, you know, the youngest one sometimes slips up and doesn't call me uncle. Uh, my name on YouTube is the name that I go by uh, in person. Of course, they know my real name and everything else. But yeah, uh, my nickname, uh, you know, is Alien. Uh, so this is the first time you're watching one of my videos. Yeah, uh, people call me Alien uh, in person all the time. Um, on here, I like being Alien in the Sin. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take a couple bites to tell you if it's good, and then uh, probably you know, move my day along and uh, you know have you guys going with me. A part of me wants to tell you what I got going on all day. But I want you guys to watch and find out what I do all day. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to ruin anything. Oh, man, that's good. Oh, man. And that's not, even, that's not a joke either. I'm not just saying it for the camera. This is like, um, <clears throat> like a really thick <clears throat> excuse me, potato soup. And I can taste the bacon in it. Oh, that thing is smacking, bro. Or what's that term? Bussin'. That's blessing, son. Oh, that's good. The pineapple's from the store, so I already know that's good. I'm going to just take a bite of the, the cheesy scrambled eggs. All right, well, I'm going to eat my food, and then I'm going to turn the camera back on when uh, when my daily vlog continues. I have no idea what's going to oh, look. I actually caught that. See how good I am with my reflexes? A little bit of something came, and I saw the, it, the camera picked it up, and I got it right on my hand, put it on my napkin. I shouldn't talk when I have food in my mouth, but I am hungry. Um, but like I said, watch the whole video because you never know what I'm going to be doing. So see you in the next scene. Oh, this is the pit bull, Violet. <clears throat> Wasn't going to leave the vlog without you guys seeing her. Look at her. <laughs> She's a little black bear. Enter the fog, dog. This is what I'm driving in today. The camera's adjusting to actually see through it a little bit better, but driving through the fog. Hopefully it's not too loud. <clears throat> Going to work. I do Uber Eats and DoorDash. Uh, hopefully you guys don't get mad that I do a bunch of little clips and throw them in. This is my daily vlog, so I'm keeping you updated 100%. Alien is in. Alien Army, let's go. So, I'm at my work location, you know, continuing the vlog. I did want to add in, uh, so I was able to, as you uh, are well aware, <clears throat> I was able to put uh, the pit bull in there, Violet, and then uh, I couldn't get a shot uh, of Camille playing with me and loving on me because, uh, like you heard uh, in the beginning of the video, my friend was doing, uh, you know, work, you know, she works from home, and then on top of which, she was doing conferences. So, it was really loud. She's talking about personal work stuff, and people are talking about work stuff. However, the dog was cuddling and loving on me and stuff like that. I just couldn't get a video without that um, the audio being, I guess, technically ruined. I'm inside somebody else's house. So, they're having that conversation, but uh, the way that the, the, the dogs are, um, that I want to talk about, um, you know, this vlog is uh, basically um, uh, she had Camille before she had Violet, and um, Camille uh, was like she's a skittish small dog, but she like loves on people when she gets close to them, and that. Uh, uh, the first time that, like, I guess the way that I, I sealed the bond with that particular dog, and I, I wanted to tell the story while I was holding her so you could see her loving on me and trying to lick me, and, and I call her my little alien baby, which is funny. Uh, she's extremely um, protective over me. Um, like, so is the pit bull, Violet. Uh, it's normally whichever dog gets to me first, uh, and then they start growling at each other. Like, they don't want, you know, like, I, I, I want to pet both of them at the same time, but they're not like that. You know, they're, they're, they're one at a time type of dogs. So, like, 
if uh, Violet gets close to me and I'm petting on her and she gets in a protective stance, she won't let uh, Camille come near me. Uh, they'll start growling and vice versa. If Camille's on me first and Violet starts coming around, uh, Camille starts growling and won't let Violet come near me, uh, you know. But uh, <clears throat> how I got close to Camille was, um, uh, was, I was still driving trucks at the time I had an apartment. I used to live right down the street from my friend, uh, the friend's house that I was at. I should give her, I mean, I got nicknames for her, but, um, I feel like I give her a different nickname, like best friend ever, or you know, like best sister ever, because she's like a sister, you know, like you know, her uh, her kids call me uncle, you know, um, I'm close with her husband, very close with her husband, very close with her, uh, close to some of her family members as well, <clears throat> and she's a part of uh, you know, like my real big friend group, you know, um, and I'm I'm friends like that with anybody, like I'm uh, you know, I'm not a cliquish person where like oh I hate on this person, I got my friends, no, uh, you know, I have uh, you know some friends uh, that are very 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 close to me that I love very dearly and I have some friends that uh, are you know out of that circle but uh you know you guys could be my friends you know as far as I'm concerned you guys are my friends you know what I mean I'm open and honest transparent put my heart out on my sleeve and and, and I do these videos you know what I'm saying and, and the support and love that I get back uh, is is incredible I love doing YouTube um even though I'm a small channel I can't wait till I grow you know I, I grow every single day alien army you know what I mean but um <clears throat> uh this one big uh, particular day I'm stopping at the store and I just got done putting the stuff in my car like it was a hot summer day I got like ice cream in there I got chicken I got all sorts of stuff <clears throat> and she calls me and she's like she's like hey uh you know I'm still at work and uh she had this other job at the time that she used to do uh and, and uh she she calls me and she's like uh she's always always working a lot and in the past you've already heard you know how many hours i worked at a part-time job uh you know well i, I worked full-time job hours but i got paid part-time money uh and i also had a full-time job on top of which so there's not, not really a lazy bone in my body um you know so anyways she calls me and she's like she's like babysitter's not there to watch my young you know youngest and her uh, her oldest daughter uh had to go to class and uh, she's like, and the babysitter canceled five minutes before getting there. So in times in need, or even if it's something small or big, when one of my friends calls me, uh, I drop uh, nearly everything. If I'm able to help, uh, I go do that. She's like, you know, can you watch uh, the, the, the littlest one? Yep, got you. I show up there and she's like, she's like, it's only gonna be for an hour. So I'm like, okay, my ice cream, my ice cream will be melted in the car. It's hot out there. But I, I, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll shoot over there right now. And uh, she's and she's like, well, you know, what were you doing? I was like putting groceries in my uh, my, my trunk. She's like, oh no, but uh, you know, you you only got the babys babysitter for an hour. I, I have to stay at work a little bit longer, um, but uh, I'll be there in an hour. I said, okay, cool. I show up there, and when I got show up there, uh, I open the door. <laughs> I like I knock on the door, and uh, her oldest daughter answers, and she's like, I gotta go, I gotta go run to class. And then the dog shoots out and runs in the street, and she's fast. You know, little dogs are really fast. And uh, she's like, man, I don't have time to catch her, catch it. I was like. I was like, just give me a minute or two. I'll, I'll catch the dog. You know, <laughs> that you know, I I, I can run fast at, uh, when I need to. Uh, you know, and probably when I don't need to as well. But nonetheless, I'm chasing this dog, and uh, I'm we, we get about like a good block, and like she's she's you know keeping a steady pace. I turn the jets on where I'm like now I'm full sprint, and all she hears is my my feet going wah 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 wah, and get, I'm getting closer. She stops running because she hears uh, my feet slapping the ground like that, and I was you know I was making uh, you know gain on her. Ran up to her, I was able to pick her up picked her up and uh, you know, thankfully that you know she uh you know when you got that close she didn't continue to run uh anymore and she's fast she picked it up too when she picked up my pit put the jets on but i had to chase her for even longer um but yeah it was probably about two and a half blocks that it, uh, i chased her and uh probably about uh the last block is where uh you know i i sprinted the whole time until i caught her and then uh i came back she's like you caught that dog really quick because normally she's this dog will run around and make a chaser and you know she'll she'll go on people's yards and smell the roses and everything else i get her i go inside and i'm like yeah uh you know i'm good i, I caught the dog uh no problem she got the oldest daughter goes in goes to the class i'm there with the, the littlest daughter and holding uh, the dog now i'm holding the dog the dog's like resting his uh, uh resting uh, her head on my heart kind of <clears throat> and i'm petting her and uh after that time that i chased her from then on uh uh moving forward every time I come to that house every time I visit she's super super excited to see me runs and jumps all over me um maybe she felt protected because I actually like you know I chased her and I caught her or you know I chased her and caught her and then I still was very nice and loving to her you know it's a dog you know sometimes dogs get out um you know uh 
I don't particularly like when a dog's on loyal and it's always escaping, but sometimes dogs run out and, you know, they test their luck, you know, and, and that kind of happens, you know, that kind of stuff happens. But um, Violet the Pit Bull um, was always liked me, but uh, just uh, for me, you know, petting her uh, and talking to her and, you know, being being a good person, uh, she's like really got uh, got really attached. And, and it's, yeah, I'm like this with all dogs. You know what I'm saying? I, I got friends that have dogs. Um, you know, other dogs other than that. And every time I meet a dog, they they, they, they love on me and they like me. Um, they're, no, nobody's dogs ever go crazy on me or anything like that. Um, you know, my whole life I've been like that. So, I, you know, I relate um, I relate to dogs. You know, like I've talked in some of my traumatic, uh, like my traumatic childhood or anything where I'm talking about, let's say, my toxic dad. i got videos about this. Um, I think I've mentioned that um, there's something very special that, that I connect with the, with a dog, and um, it's that they want to know that they're safe. They want to know that they're loved. They want to know that they're protected, and that they you know they they just want to be happy. And uh, that really clicks with me, like really deep in my heart. And not even deep in my heart, like I got a big heart, but like it really connects to me. So when I meet an animal, I I you know like you know, and it's a dog, and it's if it's loving, and it's loyal. You know, I'm the same way, and I believe that the dogs can pick up on that. Uh, you know that 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 I. You know, I can relate to them that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but I'm here at, um, I'm here, uh, you know, I do DoorDash and Uber Eats. I got the apps loaded up. I'm going to have the camera off and uh, hopefully take you along with me doing this, uh, you know, some of, these, uh, some of these deliveries that they pop up. I showed you already how foggy it is out here. Um, you know, it's all good. But, yeah, I'm going to do a full uh, full vlog with you guys today. So, you know, I hope you guys are watching all the way till the end. And because you never know, uh, there could be a twist or a turn. You never know what I'm saying. Uh, you know, whatever the day brings. I'm gonna capture it on a. I'm gonna capture it on a camera. So I've been at uh, Uber Eats and DoorDash for a while. No, uh, having not taken any orders. I wasn't too sure if I got an order. How I would record it because I'm gonna need my uh, phone to do the maps and then also take pictures of stuff. However, I was gonna try to figure it out. Maybe day, you know, like show that you know, like me picking up and then me delivering and then being done. Uh, but <clears throat> unfortunately, just like my luck, uh, any orders that I got, which few and far between. Um, not making sense like why would I you know pick something up and deliver it like almost you know six seven eight miles for three bucks we're gonna end up me gonna end up costing me more money and put me in an area that I don't want to work at um, normally this area is um, you know like sometimes it's good sometimes I mean it, it all depends on the, the market right right now it looks very saturated uh, I see a lot of drivers they you know they, they hit the same gas stations I do um, you know same parking lots they move around a little bit you know try to put yourself in a general area of where a bunch of restaurants are you know from fast food to um, you know nice looking restaurants and stuff um, but it looks like I'm not gonna make any money today uh, definitely not a con if I made money I would tell you uh, you know it's no big deal um, you know uh, days like this and you know days like this where I don't make anything uh, you know, I understand that I do get comments like, why don't you just find a regular job so you're guaranteed pay and, and, you're, and, and you don't put uh, miles on your car and you, you actually make, make sense. Um, what doesn't make sense is, uh, you know, if I get interrupted in the middle of the night and, um, you know, uh, I, or I'm sick because sleeping in my car in the winter, I have gotten sick several times uh, from running fevers to like, you know, uh, really sore throat for weeks to, um, you know, having a bad cough that I'm still struggling with now. And anytime I bring it up, it makes me want to cough. But, um, uh, you know, you know, starting a starting a job uh, where I need to, to, to fit in Planet Fitness or uh, schedule something like you know going into Planet Fitness to go ahead and use the bathroom or um, you know go in there and take a shower or um, you know the flexibility of like when one of my friends tell me I can go ahead and shower over there and, and get breakfast. Uh, by the way, um, uh, normally uh, my friend you know will hook me up uh, a lunch like if I get breakfast like she'll be like you know hey I have this leftover and this leftover and you know we don't really eat these and you know stuff like that. Uh, unfortunately, um, you know she was really really busy with that conference and uh, I could have waited uh, waited longer but I need to come out here and try to make money um, so I, I you know I said goodbye to her and she's like yeah I just can't seem to take a break and I said yeah it's okay I go uh, I haven't really made much this uh, this week so far uh, I know it's in the middle of the week I go but I, I gotta go and she's like well well if, if you know if you could wait uh, wait longer I'll, uh, I'll hook you up a lunch and uh, I said no I, ha I have to go but thank you so this is what I bought for lunch look at the price on this uh, it's coming out backwards. Two sixty-one. It's got uh, it's a turkey pinwheel. It's got a uh, 
uh, you know, good good calories, good protein. I got two of these, and I I normally wait around this time. This is the, one of my little my little homeless uh, car hacks. Uh, you know, around around this time, it's almost three o'clock uh, in the afternoon, so I've been out here, uh, you know, uh, a good chunk of um, you know from the afternoon to going into the evening, basically. <clears throat> is that uh, at a certain like early in the morning and like right around this time is when they they mark the label stuff at uh, Wally World where it's like you know we're gonna reduce the subway sandwiches we'll reduce the pinwheels we'll reduce the wraps sometimes the wraps still aren't aren't a good price they do taste uh, pretty damn good though like I like the barbecue chicken that's what I had yesterday um, but uh, you know something like this two dollars and sixty one cents normally if I'm really really hungry two of these um, will fill me up I know that they look small but they're packed with deli uh, deli turkey meat um, and cheese and stuff which is really good don't uh, quite care for the lettuce sometimes I eat the lettuce sometimes I don't um, you know got that and then I want to show you what um, what I might have for dinner uh, if I if I eat if, uh, I'm probably gonna eat both of those for lunch uh, and uh, yeah, sometimes I won't get hungry uh, at night, uh, and if I don't get hungry at night, then then cool. Uh, you know, try to save money, and I am trying to lose weight out here. Um, and speaking of that, this is I got reduced sodium roasted chicken noodle. So I got two cans of these. Um, one can will be for dinner if I if I if I'm hungry. Um, the second can is is if I like this, I can have that maybe for breakfast or uh, you know sometime tomorrow. Uh, I have no idea if this tastes as good cold. Uh, historically, r roasted chicken noodle, like regular chicken noodle soup, um, the, the chicken stock when it's cold, like the actual soup part, like kind of like gels up and becomes jelly and I, uh, it does not like, I don't like the cons consistency of it. So I fling that crap off and have that. And then let me show you what I got for, uh, to drink. So Tropicana, zero sugar premium splash punch. Uh, there's a reason why I got this. So the calories are only five calories, right? Um, so it's low on sodium as well, 25 milligrams uh, per serving, um, less than one grab of uh, uh, carbohydrates, uh, zero sugars. Just to let you know, this is uh, no artificial sweetener ingredients. So, and uh, it says 100% um, TV of vitamin C. So in the serving, uh, it's got, um, let's see here, uh, potassium 135 milligrams, 2%, and then vitamin C 90 milligrams at 100%. So I got this it's low on calories but then on top of which it's got vitamin c my body um really um seems to uh you know do well when i get vitamin c like when i when i'm starting to feel ill or sick i normally uh will, will blast a bunch of vitamin c like um you know uh sunny d strawberry like the regular orange orange drink kind of hurts my stomach it's too acidic but uh I, I get something that uh you know if it's got low low calories this looks good i'll drink i'll drink this and uh it's not such a huge container that if you know that it might go bad it's it's cold enough this winter that my my car is close to being a refrigerator if not you know different spots in my car uh you know We'll, we'll keep it cool and uh, I can always go inside the truck stop or uh, a gas station or a quick trip and uh, get a cup of ice if I taste better cold so I got that so that's basically um, what I have for uh, for lunch and for dinner I may uh, you know like I know that you guys don't want to watch a video of me eating eating uh, pinwheels I've had them before they do taste good um, they have chicken ones that are, are good as well but just the turkey ones were on sale today they have subway sandwiches that go on sale too and they're, they're some of them are like a small six inch sub uh, sub sandwich uh, it could be between two and four dollars it depends on how they label it um, and uh, the bigger ones uh, like around four dollars and fifty cents to six bucks uh, this one they go on sale like when they mark it down um they um you know like you can get packets of mayonnaise there and put it on there however uh it doesn't taste uh, a whole lot good to me like normally if i was to get up like uh because i've done that before the big foot longs and the small ones i normally don't eat the bread i just pull out the meat and cheese and i eat that and that will uh, save me on the calories uh and then also on top of that um you know i'm uh you know like it, it it tastes better to me it, it's kind of a dry sandwich if i lived in a house or an apartment i would probably put ranch on there but that would be unhealthy because you know like one tablespoon of that is like 140 uh, calories and i don't know what the sodium is on that but i would put something on there to make it not so dry <laughs> uh, to be honest with you um so since things aren't going so good with Uber Eats and DoorDash today, um, probably going to head over to this truck stop. And, uh, you know, it's still early enough in the day. I have some different clips that I'm going to go and take and, you know, show you the, the a vlog of my whole day, you know. So I want to thank you for rocking with me and continue watching for the next clip and see how, uh, see how uh, my day turns out. I know it's probably really loud because where I parked at, I got this busy street behind me. Uh, it's one of the better parking lot, uh, spots that, so people can't creep up on me. Not many people want to park with this much noise. Normally they park a little bit closer. Uh, 
you know, I can sleep this way, but it still wakes me up a little bit. Let me back up a little bit so you can see me. Hopefully you can hear me okay. That's why I'm getting close to it. Um, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I've already done some cardio. No real point for me to pick up me walking around for, you know, 15 minutes. I did two 15-minute walks. But uh, this is what I have in my trunk. Some tools. And with these tools, they're about 25 pounds. And then start lifting up like this. So a few exercises. You know, I'm not going to do the whole exercise with you. I'm probably going to do a video in the future, uh, me working out. Uh, at Planet Fitness, where, uh, where I have my membership at, uh, they play music all the time, and that would get copyrighted. You know, I'd get copyrighted for that, and I don't know how to take that off and still have my audio. Not with my cell phone camera, at least. Maybe with other stuff I could, like a desktop computer or a really good laptop. Or maybe there's a technique I just don't know about. I, my editing program is CapCut. Um, but this isn't going to be the end of the vlog. I got some other stuff to show you, but uh, the next, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. Uh, going to go ahead and be lifting uh, lifting this, but wanted to show you outside my car how loud it is when I park over here. And uh, at least it's uh, on the safer side. I mean, I, I stay in the hood, especially if you, this is the first time you watch one of my videos. I stay in the hood for reasons so cops don't run us off. You know, got to have, have your head on a swivel, make sure everything's cool. Uh, parking lot halfway full right now. And I kind of would rather people stay the hell away from me. So if that means parking by a loud, busy street, then I so, you know, that's what I do. Uh, I'm going to be jumping in after, after doing this, talking to, talking with you guys some more, and feeling you about the, the rest of my day, because this is a full day vlog. All right, thank you. Just got done working out. Yeah, I was able to review the footage from outside. Yeah, that road's really loud out there. It's not quite as loud in here, but when uh, trucks pull over right there and they use the Jake brakes, which is their engine brakes, really, really loud. Um, I like staying on this side sometimes when I want people to really stay away from me. Uh, I'm sure as you watched this video, how I talked about yesterday morning at five o'clock, uh, five o'clock in the morning, how someone decided to park next to me and honk their horn and try to get my attention over some stupid cash app scam they had going on or whatever the hell. <clears throat> stuff I don't want to know about, stuff I'm not involved in, things that, uh, you know, I don't want to, you know, if, if your lifestyle is like that, and I'm not, a, I try not to be a judgmental person, but, uh, you know, you know, because uh, I know everybody lives in a glass house, you know what I'm saying? You know, my shit stinks just like everybody else's. I put my pants on the same way that everybody else does, one leg at a time. However, if you're into bad stuff, um, I don't want nothing to do with you. You know what I mean? And that's exactly how that person sounded. Uh, you know, from one of my friends, what they told me what uh, what her get down was. Not with that stuff in the slightest. <clears throat> and um, so don't want anybody trying to park next to me. Don't want to, uh, you know, like, they would get annoyed by that that sound. <laughs> so you don't need to beat a dead horse on that. Uh, there were some uh, other things I wanted to comment on. Um, not making any money doing DoorDash and Uber Eats today. I mean, those days do happen. Unfortunately, it happened on the day I want to vlog everything where it would have been nice to say, you know, hey, I did an order for this much. I made this much and stuff like that. Um, and uh, I started talking about, um, you know, some people have put comments like, why don't you just work a regular job and uh, and whatnot. And I don't think I explained myself very well. So hopefully those people uh, continued watching before they put, um, you know, a uh, misinformed uh comment and that's what i really ask is that you know if uh if it's a misinformed comment or an opinion you know at least watch my videos all the way through or watch a couple of videos if you have uh, unquestioned answers that would probably help uh help your issues out um you know what i mean and because i know that you're probably coming from a good place because you are taking your time out to write a comment and for that i do appreciate it you know what i'm saying however uh 99.9 percent .9 of my comments are all supportive and of course they watch everything so it's not a big deal just for that one percent going to give you a little bit of attention you know try to watch everything um before you put down a comment that's all i ask and i'm not going to be rude and nasty to you anyways i mean i appreciate the time that you take to write something you know what i mean <coughs> so um what uh one of the reasons for that <clears throat> and i don't think i explained myself very well that's why i'm gonna repeat uh repeat uh you know what i'm gonna say is uh sorry my uh <coughs> my voice is getting dry <coughs> from working out out there and it's cold and uh whatnot I've been battling a cough for, for a couple of weeks now as well. So, um, uh, welcome to, to car life. Welcome to being homeless. Welcome to living in your vehicle. These things happen, especially in winter. Um, is uh, let me get back to the point. Um, is if I'm sick one day, uh, you know, I'm at a fire at will state. You know, if I'm going to be late one day, I'm at a fire fire will state. 
I do like the flexibility of Uber Eats and DoorDash. I know that it's not sustainable, okay? So I know that's not sustainable. I put on a lot of miles on my car. I, uh, you know, I don't make a whole lot of money anyways, uh, money anyways, you know, wear and tear on my vehicle, the amount that I spend on gas and all that stuff, right? I am trying to just get by. So like, listen to my whole, my whole game plan. I am just trying to get just by, you know, just get by, you know, until, you know, um, my YouTube uh, hopefully will pick up more. Uh, I'm 800 miles, uh, not 800 miles. <laughs> I'm 800 hours away from having 4,000 mile, uh, 4,000 watch times. I'm saying miles because I was talking about DoorDash and Uber Eats. But uh, I'm 800 uh, hours away from uh, monetizing my account. I believe that would help a whole lot. You never know if one of my videos could go viral if you guys share it, especially if you guys put a bunch of likes and a bunch of comments. That would help out pushing uh, uh, pushing my uh, content out with the algorithm. The more people get pushed out to that actually watch it and enjoy it or check out my other videos, they go ahead and subscribe and they uh, add to my watch hour. So if you if I have videos you haven't seen yet, I would ask you to, to watch those. That would really help me out. And of course, comment and subscribe, which I probably already mentioned in my video at least once. Uh, so if I buy time for that, people will be like, well, you're banking all on YouTube. I'm really hoping YouTube will take off. Uh, and that's what I would like to do, because at that point, uh, I can work anywhere and do anything. However, do I have a backup plan? So like if I was to go get a job and uh, whatnot, <clears throat> I would still be living in my car. I'd still be putting on miles on my car. I'd still be spending uh, a lot of money on gas for at least keeping my car uh, warm during winter. <clears throat> However, the money that I would make isn't gonna get me out of the situation, uh, right? Money from YouTube could help me uh, get out of the situation. However, it buying me time, I may go back to truck driving. Uh, what's kind of holding me back from that decision is um, one, I am uh, hard headed about it. I do have some, to some uh, you know, I am jaded about what, what has happened to me with truck driving before. However, could I go back and stuff like that? Yeah, is it something I need to get over mentally? Yes, of course. You know, I've had some traumatic stuff happen to me with truck driving. If you don't know about it, you can watch uh, why I quit truck driving and my homeless full story. <clears throat> the other thing about that is, is that I would need a refresher course. So this is like me, me laying every, all the cards on the, on the table so you can understand. Since I haven't driven a truck for a while, and my, license, my, my Class A license is still in good standing, my physical is still in good standing, there would be a couple things. I, um, I need to be to, uh, uh, under 220 pounds if I get asked to do another physical because their um, doctors are gonna be stringent, more stringent than my doctors. And, do, and they do that on, pur on purpose. So if I'm over 220 pounds, they may say that I need a sleep apnea test and uh, have a sleep apnea machine. That is a hustle that these uh, truck driving uh, mega carriers uh, like to do. Because what they will do at that point is say that they would uh, like, okay, now that you need this, now I'm stuck with this on my record for the rest of my life. Like I'm gonna always need it. <clears throat> if I ever take it off, it's going to get I don't even know if all the details, but it's um, not something that I'm interested in having. It would cut down uh, how long my, uh, my physical card will last for. My last physical card is good for two years, and I believe I have a year on it. So I haven't, I haven't driven trucks in a year, okay? So because of that fact, I would have to take a refresher course. I would also most likely go with the mega carrier, so <clears throat> they would want, they'd be okay with my physical card going in, but they're gonna want their doctors to take a look at me. And when their doctors take a look at me, if I'm over 220 pounds, so I need to lose seven pounds, right? It'd probably be better if I lost more than seven pounds, and I'm working on that, especially if you saw the lunch that I'm having today, early in this video, and what I might have for dinner. So I am working on it, and then also you saw that I was, uh, you know, working out. Now, am I gonna get big old arms from lifting 25 pounds when I'm a lot stronger than lifting 25 pounds? No. However, does it keep my muscles activated a little bit so I won't lose so much muscle out here and maybe not lose so much strength? Because one of the hardest things is me getting enough protein every single day, right? But this refresher course that I keep talking about, that I need to get to the point on order, uh, already, is literally, um, a lot of these mega car carriers, when I first got in here, you needed something like nine months to a year to become a trainer. A lot of them have now moved from three months to six months. I have years of experience. We are in the winter months. Going through Wyoming right now or going through a very bad mountain state like Montana and you know jumping in and doing OTR, which is over the road, all 50 states, and that's most likely the, the route I would, I would go because local and regional hasn't worked out so well for me. Hasn't worked out so well, uh, I'm not going to give the excuses or the reasons why. It's not even excuses. It's reasons why. Uh, <clears throat> I have them in videos. That's why I suggest it. So I'm not trying to, to, to build this video really long with fluff. I'm just trying to give you the bait, so to speak, right? 
I'm not comfortable getting in uh, in a vehicle, a commercial vehicle, with somebody who's been driving three months. <clears throat> I'm not comfortable jumping in there in six months, especially if they don't never had a winter underneath their belt, right? I have awards for uh, uh, Winter Warrior. I have uh, tons of certificates for all sorts of stuff. And then more important than all that, I was trained really well. And then I was solo OTR uh, for a very long time. Then I also did regional, I uh, had a couple different regional positions. And, I, and, and being in the Midwest, I meant I dealt with everything. You know what I mean? I dealt with, you know, from strong winds to snow to slate to ice to black ice to, to all sorts of stuff. And I, I dealt with that OTR as well, right? So if it was towards the end of like this winter, so maybe let's say towards the end of February, because January and February, in my opinion, are the, the worst months. You're still going to have some states doing some stuff in March. Wyoming could be one of them. You know, uh, Montana could be another one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it all depends. But it is not nearly as, as dangerous, right? Why am I worried about that stuff? It's not for my own driving capabilities. It's me being in a truck. I will be a nervous wreck if I get paired up. And I gotta tell you, if I go uh, if I go do orientation and then I get a trainer who's got three to six months experience and never dealt with the winter before, and now I'm in the truck with them, right? <clears throat> or let's say I refuse. I say, hey, I want a better trainer. This this is a, this is a democracy inside maker carriers. They're gonna say you are denying a trainer. Thank you for coming to orientation. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. You know, who am I? And and I got to tell you, I can't, there's certain things I could be put myself in position to, to say no to. I could say no if they ask me to do something unsafe. I could ask them to say, uh, you know, uh, my answer is no if the trailer or the tracker's messed up. But me, say, me denying one of their trainers... Uh, no, because I knew that going in. You know what I'm saying? So whatever mega carrier I called and said I want to do OTR, uh, I've already done the research. I've already talked to recruiting on a lot of companies. I told them, you know, I'd get back to you, or here's my email, here's my phone number. Stay in contact with you, uh, you know, with me, and we'll find out uh, what what direction I I, I end up going. <clears throat> so because I knew that before going there, they're going to say that to me, and it's going to be. Quite frank, like if, if you knew that if you knew that you, there was a possibility of you getting a um, you know a, a not very experienced person just to be in the truck with, and I I do agree that I need to um, uh, be in a truck for a little bit with somebody. That's not my problem. My problem is, is that it's winter time and that I don't trust them, and uh, I don't trust somebody who's only got three or six months, right? So if I do that, and uh, they say don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out, that means that I'm out of all the money that I went there with. You know, like whatever little bit of money that I was able to scrape up that week to pay for the gas to get me down there and everything else. And uh, to, I, I really don't know all of their major terminals, like some of these major carriers. I don't know all of them. I When I make the decision, I'll look into like, okay, your terminal's two states away. Or your terminal might be in the same state as me. Or your term, you know, you got, you know, one that's, you know, four or five states away. Whatever the case may be. Uh, I'll be out of that money. I'll be out of that time. And then I won't have enough money or anything to go back to, to, to this if that's what if that's what it is. I want to set myself up in the best case scenario that when I go in something like that, that that it's not my fault. It's not my fault if things don't work out. Uh, it would be my fault if I said I'm not going to get in the truck with a three month, uh, uh, you know, somebody who's been driving trucks for three months and then my trainer. <clears throat> Let me go out there and that's who I get. And then uh, I basically, uh, you know, I, I I don't do it. You know what I'm saying? I have to I have to be careful every decision I make is very incredible uh, I weigh the options sometimes I get analysis paralysis where I I'm analyzing it so much because one little false move can really cost me really big and uh, you know I'm only human you know do I make bad decisions sometimes yes do I make a decision sometimes I think so you know um, and, uh, and I'm always gonna be honest when I make when I make a mistake I have no problem telling anybody you know, hey, learn from it. You know, when I talk about something positive, I, I, I do just that as well. So that's that's the whole theory on that. The bigger theory about stuff is, um, you know, if if I rented a room, this is what I want to get into. Uh, this probably could be a separate video, but this is a vlog and this is what's going through my head. So I want to share it. If I rented a room or I rented an apartment and I was living paycheck to paycheck, how am I ever going to get ahead in life? What do I want in life? Let's start there. You know, what I want in life, and you guys can laugh if you want, most of you guys actually support me, is nothing less than changing the rule. I want to be the person that, <clears throat> you know, gets, you know, makes a lot of money and puts all that money to help other people. 
maybe not all, but all, the 99% of it or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I want to end homelessness and that we'll, uh, you know, the biggest way in my opinion to end it is the people who are almost about to be homeless, probably you guys, do you have a thousand dollars saved in your savings account? What if something should happen to you, your wife, or your child? What if you get a divorce? What would happen if, um, you know, your, your car got messed up? What would happen if uh, you don't live in an area that, that's no rent control and your credit got messed up because, you know, you took care of your grandparents and you had to live off your credit cards for a little bit. You were still working and then no rent control and you were um, renting a house that was leased to lease or uh, an apartment leased to lease and they jack it up for $500. Have I even been, I, as a child, I was in positions like that. So, you know, when I was a kid, I remember no rent control in the house and it shot up like $600. Boom, instantly. You know, things can happen to everybody. And unless you have a lot of money uh, put put along, put away, even if you have a lot of money, a divorce can be very, very costly. You know, um, the biggest thing is, is I think the report is like 60 to 70 percent of people don't even have a thousand dollars saved up. So you, you could you can land this way now. Wouldn't it be better if there was uh, rules and regulations and, and, and uh, not rules and regulations, but like programs and outreaches that actually help you? Not this crap that I got to deal with, this local level stuff, where these people are nothing but scumbags. The local level, oh, okay, you know, I'm not going to get into it, but at the local level in the state that, I, that, that I'm in, there is a lot of corruption on who actually gets a section eight, who actually gets emergency um, shelter, who actually, um, you know, can go in there. And the shelters, you know, I'm going to tell you straight up, the shelters is the breeding ground that there's a class of homeless that's the majority of people that's inside of uh, a shelter. <clears throat> the ones that are running, I talked about this in my videos all the time, but I'm going to, you know, like, I'm going to throw it out there. I guess from working out, I'm pumped up, you know. The people that run up on people and get robbed out here that I've talked about and explained and, you know, showed bits and pieces and stuff like that, the people that are doing that are the ones that are in the shelter. The people inside the shelter are getting ran up on as well. They're belonging, and not just ran up, but they're getting their stuff stolen when they're not looking. Out here, they're running up on you, and they're hiding in the shelter. And I have uh, I have knowledge of, of just that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not stupid. <clears throat> I can put one to one together. I know the people around here a little bit. You know, I've been out here a while. That's, that's the breed of people. And then the people who are running that place were, are or were once homeless. And they are, uh, you know, they, they got jobs. And they are protecting the scumbags. The scumbags that, you know, steal stuff, that, you know, they get bribed. The women that go inside there, they get, um, they get, um, uh, they get asked to do things. So do the men. They get prop propositioned. Men and the women get propositioned. People that run up on people and steal, break it off, uh, you know, and stuff like that. Every once in a while, do they actually help somebody who's, uh, you know, like actually be straight and narrow? Yeah, but most of the time, they are power tripping, yelling, yelling at people and stuff like that. So, I understand how that part of that system works. That's fine. If I'm able to to, to accumulate, and, and maybe it's, maybe it is just a dream, but it's okay. It's in my heart. You know, I I think some of the the biggest quotes are, they, you know, the people don't dream big enough. I dream that I can stop homelessness. If not, because I mean, some people will still make that decision that I help the people that never, you know, at the position where they never become homeless. And then on top of that, people that are homeless, that they are no longer in that position. We live in the, and, and I want that, I want that in America. I'm not going to take my money and throw to Hades. I'm not going to go give it to, to, to another country. No, I'm an American. I'm a very proud American. I'm very patriotic. And those are the people that I'm going to help. This is our country. We live in the most, one of the, like, I, I, I consider it the most, the most resource filled. We have the most ability. We, if we could get on the same page and forget about what, uh, what makes us uh, different. Let's concentrate on what makes us the same. We're all humans. We all have a heart. We all have feelings. We all can do better. We could all be there for each other. And I know it sounds funny, uh, you know, a little bit. <clears throat> That's okay. You know, I'm going to make that into the reality. And if, if I don't, at least I'm trying. <clears throat> More than just me trying, I want to succeed. And th those are my hopes and my dreams. You know, I want I want to stop that stuff. And the people that rock with me can actually really make that happen by, by, by just hitting the like button, by sharing it, by taking it in and putting it on different forms or sending it on Twitter and help making it go viral, you know, or just rocking with me, giving me supportive messages and stuff like that. Hell, I could win the lottery and I'll still do it. You know what I'm saying? 
So those are my hopes and dreams. If I have to go to, uh, to trucking and make money and uh, you know work on my credit and then continue doing YouTube, I already know my supporters will support me because I talked to I talked with them about it. If I have to do that, then that's what I have to do as well. And but I do want to get through winter. So. Uh, I want to get through winter a little bit more if I have to get in the truck with somebody else. So I hope that it wasn't too crazy. <laughs> the only thing I'm going to be doing at this point is, um, is you know, editing my video and uploading it. If anything happens, you know, tonight, of course, I'll record it, you know, and make a new video about it. And I still got to make my bed. Uh, but there's a little bit of light out right now, so I don't need to make my bed right now. And the way I make my bed is... Um, I have two sleeping bags, one's a 30 degree and one's a 40 degree, and then I have a couple comforters. I use, I pull the driver's seat forward so it's close to the steering wheel. I lower my um, my seat and then I have a, it's an actual 60-40 split. However, when I lay on lay on that seat, you know, so I'm halfway in the, the trunk and halfway out, I, um, you know, I'm stretched out and then I take a comforter and I put it right where this driver's side, um, well, this driver um, seat is, and I put that there and then that closes like a two feet gap and then I use that as a pillow and it also, um, you know, keeps me all the way level, you know what I'm saying? I do have a Honda Civic car, uh, car tour where actually I demonstrate, um, you know, exactly how I how I set everything up. So there's really no point. Um, one of the reasons why I don't want to do it now is, just, uh, like the clip earlier, you hear how loud it is by that street. I don't want that cringe noise going on and you guys getting upset or not liking or just it not being very good for your ears or whatever. <clears throat> it's not that big of a deal. It's just me putting my seat down. <laughs> You're not missing out on anything. I'm trying to save you from how loud the street is. Um, I hope you all subscribe. Um, you know, I think I'm going to end it here. But before you click off, because I said I'm going to end it here, I do have Cash App if you want to uh, show some love uh, or bless me. Uh, link in the description. Um, you know, please subscribe. Please help out my channel. I am a small channel that is growing. Uh, you know, quite well, and I, I want that growth to continue. And uh, for that to happen, I, I need your help. You know what I mean? So if, if you rock with me, you support me, you rock with Alien Army, you know, let's let's get it done with the likes, with the comments, with uh, sharing it, and uh, letting people know what my channel is. And uh, I want to thank you so much.